Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Summer Breeze Throw, which you can see here in the photo before you. Also, if you head on over to my blog at richtextures.crochet.com, you will find the written instructions for this pattern as well as more photos of the blanket there for you. So today we're going to learn how to crochet this blanket. This is a lightweight blanket. You can see a little bit of it here. Uh, as I bring up my sample, just so you can see, it's a lightweight blanket, same on both sides. It's made up of easy crochet stitches, including single crochet and uh, double crochet stitches. So this is a great project if uh, you are a beginner or maybe more new to crochet. This would be a good one for you. It's worked from the middle, which means that you can make this blanket as large or as small as you would like. Today, my blanket measures approximately 52 by 52 inches. And to get a blanket of this size, I used four of the Karen Cotton Cakes by Yarnspirations. This is a worsted weight yarn that uh, has about 211 yards per cake. So you're going to need about 800 to 840 yards of, uh, of yarn to get a blanket of that size. Along with your yarn, you're also going to need a 5 millimeter crochet hook and then of course a copy of the written crochet pattern. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, check out some of the other videos that you find on this channel. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Now our blanket is worked, as I mentioned, from the middle and then you're going to work your way out. And it is worked in rounds. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by making our slip knot. Once you've made your slip knot, you're going to begin by chaining four chains. Next, you're going to join with a slip stitch. So insert your hook into that first chain, yarn over, draw through all the loops that are on your hook just to turn that chain into a ring. You're then ready to begin the first round. Round one of this blanket, you're going to chain three. Your chain three counts as a stitch. It will be a double crochet stitch. Next, work two more double crochet stitches into the center of your ring. So there's one, and two. chain one and work three more double crochet stitches into the center of your ring. You're going to do that a total of three times. So that's the first one. Chain one, three double crochets into the center of your ring. This is the second repeat. Repeat that one more time, chain one, work three double crochets into the center of your ring. Chain one, and now join with a slip stitch into the top of your starting chain three. For round Two, you're going to slip stitch into each of the next two stitches. So into that first stitch, slip stitch, into the next double crochet, slip stitch, over to this chain one space. When you come to the chain one space, you're going to work a single crochet, chain three, and single crochet. Next, you're going to chain three and repeat that what you just did all the way around. So then skip the next three double crochet stitches into the next chain one space, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, skip the next three double crochets into the next chain one space, 
single crochet, chain three, and single crochet. You will see that your single crochets, chain three, single crochet, are then creating a little corner into each of your chain one spaces. Once you've worked your single crochet, chain three, single crochet into your final corner, you're going to chain three and then join with a slip stitch into that first single crochet stitch. And that brings you to the end of round two. For round three, you're going to slip stitch into that corner space, that chain three space, and then chain three. That counts as a stitch. Next, work two double crochet stitches. Chain one and two, three double crochet stitches all into that same chain three space. You're then going to skip the next single crochet and into the next chain three space work three double crochet stitches. All into the same space. Skip the next single crochet stitch. You're back in your corner and into your corner space you're going to work three double crochet stitches chain one and three more double crochet stitches all into the same chain three space Into the next chain three space, work three double crochets. This brings you to your next corner and you're going to repeat three double crochets, chain one, three double crochets, all into that same corner space. Into the next chain three space, work three double crochets. You'll be back around to your next corner. Three double crochets, chain one, and three double crochets. I'm now at my final chain three space, simply going to work three double crochet stitches into that chain three space and then join with a slip stitch into the top of your chain three. And that brings you to the end of round three. For round four, you're going to slip stitch as you did uh, down below for your round two. You're going to slip stitch into each of the next two double crochet stitches. This is going to bring you to your corner space and into that corner space, that chain one space, you're going to work a single crochet, chain three, and single crochet chain three, skip the next three double crochet stitches and in between that last stitch and the next stitch 
work one single crochet stitch. So you're going to skip three stitches and then in the space between work a single crochet. Chain three, skip three, and work a single crochet in between the last double crochet and the next one. Chain three, this is going to bring you to your corner stitch. In your corner stitch, work a single crochet, chain three, and single crochet. You're then going to repeat across uh, the other three sides. So chain three, skip the next three double crochet, and single crochet in the next space in between the two stitches. Chain three, skip three, single crochet in between that last stitch and the next one. Chain three, skip three, and into your corner stitch, work a single crochet, chain three, and single crochet. Repeat that all the way around and then end with a chain three and a join with a slip stitch into that first single crochet stitch. For round five, you're going to slip stitch into that corner space and just as you did down here in your row four, you're going to chain three, sorry I guess it would be your um, round three, chain three, work two double crochets into that corner stitch. chain one and work three more double crochets all into that corner space. Skip the next single crochet and into the next chain three space work three double crochet stitches. You're going to do that a total of three times. Skip the next single crochet into the next chain three space, three double crochet stitches. Next chain three space, three double crochet stitches. That will bring you across to your corner stitch into your corner or your corner space, into your corner space, you will work three double crochets all into the space, chain one, and three more double crochets. Just as you did for the first side, you're then going to repeat that all the way across. So into your next chain three space, work three double crochet stitches. You're going to do that a total of three times to your next corner. Then in your next corner, you'll work your three double crochets, chain one and three double crochets, and continue to repeat that all the way around. When you come back to that starting chain three, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your starting chain three. At the end of your round five, you're joining with a slip stitch into the top of that chain three and that brings you to the end of round five. 
Now, as far as the bones of this pattern, that is all that there is to it. So from here on end, you're going to continue repeating rounds four and rounds five until your edge measures 52 inches or the size that you would like. So your round four started with the slip stitch in each of the next two stitches, and then your single crochet, chain three single crochet, uh, and then uh, and so forth and then your round five which was the round you just worked of double crochet stitches as you are working you will see that you are increasing your stitch counts as you go so before where you only worked over uh, three sets of three double crochet stitches in this round you're going to be working over five sets uh, and then uh, seven nine and so forth. So you're just going to continue working it around, continue uh, repeating your rounds four and your rounds five. Once you get your blanket to the size that you would like, you can then fasten off, weave in your ends, and then we're going to work a simple edging. Now once you've worked your blanket to the desired size, I've stopped here at the end of round six, but you're going to, going to keep going uh, to your desired size. Once you've fastened off, you can weave in your ends and you're then going to work a simple edging all the way around. To work the edging on your blanket, at the first stitch uh, and any side, you can join your yarn with a slip stitch just into the top stitch. You're then going to work one half double crochet in each stitch all the way across working three half double crochets into each corner stitch. So half double crochet into each stitch all the way across your top just like so. Until you come to your corner space. When you come to that corner space into that chain one space, work three half double crochet stitches. So there's one, two, and three. That's going to bring you around to the next side, and then half double crochet again in each stitch all the way across. Do that all the way around, working three half double crochets in each corner, one half double crochet in each stitch across the side, and then join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. At the end of the first round of your edging, you're working your final three half double crochets into your corner, and then you're joining with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. At this time, you are going to want to turn your work. Chain one and turn. Next, for this uh, next round, you're going to then work three single crochets into each corner stitch and one stitch into each stitch across the end of the rows. So working here, this is my first stitch, single crochet, and then into my corner stitch, work three single crochet stitches. then one single crochet into each stitch all the way across to your next corner where you will work three single crochets into that corner stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around 
and then join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. At the end of that second round of single crochets, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. You can then fasten off. Weave in your ends and your summer throw blanket is then complete. So thank you so much for joining me. I love to see pictures of your finished products or your works in progress. Uh, so you can uh, share those with me across social media, Facebook, Instagram. I would love to see them and hear how you are doing. So thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.